So, finally, we've arrived. The UK is officially a dystopian state. Um, I was online the other day and I read a few comments that kind of basically typified the state of the UK right now. Most of us these days, we'd be telling ourselves these lies about how the UK is lit or the West is great, or at least, you know, it's 24 seven, you know, we've got Uber Eats, we've got all of these things that are so convenient that simultaneously suck all of our money out of our pockets. We've got all of these subscriptions that really, how often, how much TV do you watch for how much you pay for all of these subscriptions? Like the UK, all right, how about this, yeah? The United, nations reported that if you removed london the city the capital of england if you removed that from britain on average our incomes are actually lower than the state of mississippi which if i'm not mistaken is like bottom three bottom five states in the whole of america bro so how the hell can we reach a place where compared <laughs> to that place our wages are that bad like that's ridiculous bro and as always i make the point that while i speak on the uk because that's where i'm from that's where i've been born born and grown up this is a worldwide thing go look at new york Go look at all the migrants and these random Venezuelan gangs and like, I don't even know where these Donnies are coming from, bro. But all I know is that these Donnies are coming over to the city of New York and they're doing all of the madnesses that you could ever think of. I'm talking R, you know, R, A, finish the, the spelling. Um, what else? I said R, A, R, A, W, bullets from the Matt Tendle smother you. Sorry, intrusive thoughts. But yeah, um, even Paris, like, do you know how long I wanted to go Paris back in the days? And don't get twisted, I still will go France, I still will go Paris and, and other cities, yeah. But one time I saw someone say, bro, Paris is not it right now. Bro, when I saw the footage over there and how the place looks dirty, I'm seeing gal talk about they don't feel safe walking down the road at certain times. And these are gal that live in the blocks of these cities like their residents they've been there for years and they've noticed a shift to the point where they've decided yeah after nine i'm not coming out my house now fortunately in london where i live anyway south london that's not necessarily the case but who's to say in six months time that won't be the case do you get what i'm saying and just to make my point even more true yeah this is how you know when things are going left deep it yeah the way that we are taxed in the UK, and also Canada to a certain extent, yeah, but the way that we are taxed specifically in the UK is so peak that most of the people that really, really make bread, I'm talking your millionaires, your billionaires, the guys owning companies and that, do you know what they're doing? They're cutting. <laughs> they're taking their companies, they're moving it to different surrounding cities, different surrounding countries um, where the tax rate is not as harsh. And yeah, people are taking their money out of the economy of the UK. So let's do maths, guys. If you have a place, which is allegedly so fantastic, I still believe to an extent it is. If you have a place, which is so fantastic, that the most wealthy people are looking around and saying, yeah, let's take our millions and move it somewhere else. That means there's now less money, overwhelming money as well, in the economy flowing about in terms of businesses, job prospects, and things like that. How does that bode well for the future? Because I don't know about you, but to me, that just looks like less money, less resources, less jobs, less opportunities, more crime. And on, this, on the um, topic of crime, as I alluded to earlier, in terms of a lot of women these days not feeling safe, shout out to the gal then behind me that are walking very comfortable <laughs> safe on a, on a Sunday morning. That's all that's gonna happen. And don't act like you haven't seen it. Don't act like you haven't heard of the Kia boys in America that roll around with their USB sticks, stealing people's Kias. 
Don't act like you haven't heard about Range Rovers not being able to get insured because they're so easy to steal, even though they're a luxury car, but you can just steal them. And man, them are stealing them and doing drills and leaving youths disabled and whatnot. But anyway, I've been sidetracked and I'm digressing. The point I'm trying to make is, things are really, really messed up right now. And the only thing that truly gives me solace, yeah, this is just me being honest. The only thing that gives me solace personally is knowing that one, as I said, I roll with God. So more time, I don't really, really worry too, too tough. But also because, you know, people who are on a hundred grand and half a mil now are realizing, no, these issues are gonna also affect me too. And it's not, oh, I'm behind my gated community, so I'll be safe. Nah, 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 nah. Man, I'm gonna hop that fence. Man, I'm gonna run up in that yard. And man will be taking things at will because if it's me or you, I choose me every time, bro. Shout out to um, Colors. You probably won't even love me re repeating this bar, but he said, I'd rather be the suspect than a victim. He's not the first rapper to say it, but he's just the one that's come off the top of my head as I'm thinking about it now. But yeah, the long and short is things are gonna get worse before they get better. But part of me kind of wants it to, so people can collectively wake up and realize that we need to come together as a people and start strategizing about how we can make where we live better. And that's why I keep reiterating, it's not about uh, me being British from South London, youth from another side, ops and, I don't give a shit about that, bro. There's too many more important things going on. And in my opinion, the quicker that men and women realize we need each other, the old and the young realize we need each other. I was gonna say the rich and the poor, but I don't know about that. But, <laughs> but the quicker that we realize that if you ain't got enough funds, collectively join with your brothers, join with your sisters, put your funds together and do things, the quicker we can get to that element of life, things will improve, I believe so. Um, but yeah, anyway, these are thoughts in my head, innit? I just thought, let me get them out, innit? But yeah, the UK and amongst other places have reached a real dystopian state. And um, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get worse, in fact, before it gets better. So, I don't know. Peace.